Hi there, my name is Yunus and in this quick tutorial I'm gonna cover the hello world program using C++. So first of all we're gonna code using CodeBlocks IDE but you can use a Microsoft Visual Studio or Notepad. To begin with we have to go to file and we have to create a new empty file. After creating a new empty file we'll save it and we'll call it hello world. And when when you're creating a C++ program, after the name you have to write .cpp. That's cpp extension means C++. So the computer knows that's a C++ file. So we'll save it. For hello world perm, our first line is gonna be pound sign include arrow to the left io stream arrow to the right then we write using namespace std so what these lines mean they're pretty complicated right now to explain so just just remember that we use this first i stream to display something on the screen or to input some value into the program and using namespace std allows us to use standard library tools and you can see that I left a empty line. It doesn't matter. You can, you don't have to leave it. But if you leave it, it makes the code more uh, nice looking. It's easy to read. So the next thing that we do, we have to write int main, and we have empty parentheses. Then we go to the next line and we open curly brackets or braces, and what this mean int main int main is our main function so when we create a program we're gonna write our code inside of the main function and the first thing the computer does when it compiles the code it goes to the main and starts reading from the main and so to display a message we have to write c out two arrows to the left then we open double quotation mark and inside of the quotation mark we write our message which is hello world after we're done with our message we have to get out of the quotation mark you have to add semicolon semicolon means the end of the line and after that we have to go down and we have to write return zero when the program reaches this line of code uh, it terminates itself so le let me explain what this line means c out c out allows us to display a message on the screen so for example you can use c out for some something else as well c out and you can write my name is something and it will display the message that is inside of the quotation mark on the screen to run the program we have to go here and it says build and run if you press that it will create an executable file and it will run the program so as you can see if we run the program it displayed a hello world message on the screen uh, thank you for watching